I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today, we're reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and let's focus on verses 10 through 14. I have seen the task God has given humanity to keep us occupied. He's made everything suited to its time. Also, he has given human beings awareness of eternity, but in such a way that they can't fully comprehend from the beginning to the end the things he does. Know that there is nothing better for them to do than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Still, the fact that everyone can eat and drink and enjoy the good that results from all his work is a gift from God. I know that whatever God does will last forever. There is nothing to add or to subtract from it. And God has done it so that people will fear him. Now, humanity is a collection of people under grace. And that's not to say that everyone on earth follows Jesus and is saved. I'm simply saying that whenever sinful people are in clear view of of the all-seeing God, it is only by His grace and mercy that they remain unjudged and alive. So there is a blanket grace in mercy, which is not necessarily unto salvation, but it is definitely keeping you alive in the world today. Solomon knew this quite well. In today's passage, he observed the simple fact that a person can eat and drink and enjoy the good results from all of his own work. But it's all due to God's grace. You see, his gift to both the believer and the unbeliever. So why is God so gracious? Why does he delay judgment on the earth? Well, because God wants people to choose him. to to be appreciative for his grace and mercy, and to want to go deeper, to believe in him, or as the Bible puts it, to fear him. 2 Peter 3, verse 9, uh, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, what, to judge or to bless? As some understand slowness, he's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but for everyone to come to repentance. And what exactly does it mean to fear God? Well, it means to honor, to respect, and worship, to revere Him. It means much more than just the everyday pedestrian respect that we may give to another person. To fear the Lord is to acknowledge that He deserves all our worship. And after all, He is the Creator, and we are the creatures. He is the Lord and we are the slaves. I know people don't like that term slave, but in the end, that's what we are, bought with the price, and we serve him. You see, his way is the only way, and that means that any course deviations from that way, the way that he is established, well, those course deviations will never lead us to a right relationship with him. Fearing God is foundational to our salvation, to our joy, into our success. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Psalm 111 verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. So fearing the Lord carries the attitude which proclaims this may not feel right, But because I trust God and I believe his word, I will live according to his instruction. Therefore, I will cling to the hope of his promises, which are given to all who faithfully follow him. In fact, today's passage claims that mankind cannot fully comprehend eternity. Therefore, to fear God is also to faithfully admit that eternity lies solely within His hands and not our own. He alone has the power to save or to destroy to the uttermost. He has chosen to extend His forgiveness and His salvation. Will you choose to believe and to receive Him? I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we need your monthly support. Donating is secure and easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. 
Another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries, to share these podcasts with friends and family and on our social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.